Hi, now we're going to do the story of Arby Armadillo, the letter A that says ah. Arby Armadillo near, neatly made his bed and he quickly fluffed his scarlet red pillow. He looked far, far out into the dark March sky at those sparkling stars. The time had arrived. As always, Arby Armadillo was already looking forward to the automobile trip with his father, Papa Armadillo, and his mother, Mama Armadillo. They waddled to the car, anxious to be on their way. First, they went to the market where Mama Armadillo bought a large jar of barley and some unsalted artichokes for a snack. Then Arby Armadillo and his father, Papa Armadillo, went to the barber. Before you knew it, they were on their way to Palm Tree Park for a picnic. After Arby Armadillo ate 28 unsalted artichokes, he settled back to listen to Papa and Mama Armadillo play the guitar and harp. His parents were so artistic with armadillo music. Off in the distance came the sound of large dogs barking. Seeing the startled look on R.B. Armadillo's face, his father said, we don't have to be afraid, R.B. Armadillo. God has given us a special secret to protect us when we want to hide. R.B. Armadillo asked, what is it? What is it? God put a special armor on our backs. Not awkward armor, like an army uses, but armor just our size, said R.B. Armadillo's father. We can draw ourselves into a little round ball, and God's armor will keep us safe, as safe can be. Here came a large dogs. Oh. Here come the dogs, Mama Armadillo said. Let's each curl into our own armor ball and surprise the dogs. So Arby Armadillo, Papa Armadillo, and Mama Armadillo curled up into round little balls of armor. They were safe inside as the large dogs clawed and snarled. Arby Armadillo could hear those dogs through his armor. They were barking and barking, but he wasn't afraid. He giggled and he sang, Tra la 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 la, I'm safe as I can be, tucked inside the armor that God made for me. <laughs> and that's the story of Arby Armadillo.